Larson. Ready. Good stuff. $300 damage. I'm not always per I'm doing a thing. Don't worry. You, I'm not it. always periscope. You should be. No. Are you a periscope right now? Jay Larson just got off stage. What up, everybody? How many people are on here? Just 26. Rowdy! Larson, home run hitter. Check out the... When is it going to drop? When's the video going to drop? Do you think drop? you could strike me out, or do you think I would get a base hit off you? I mean, you could hit. You probably make... Con I mean... You could get a hit off me, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm freaking, don't throw Heard this. it here first. Jay's got a good stroke. He's like, I'd say like a solid, like your first baseman, left fielder, third baseman back in the day. Yeah, baby. You're, you hit a, you hit some legitimate bombs. Yeah. I don't want to give away the, the result. You got it. All things comedy, crab yeah. fest. Have fun up there, buddy. Okay. Love bar Lubitsch goes. You're gonna get one. Lubitsch looks like he does. Jay hits a lot of home runs. My stomach is bloated. I'm just gonna have a, a positive, a good time. I'm gonna do like 15 minutes tomorrow night. I'm back at the comedy store. Tomorrow night, Brody Stevens, Stephen Brody Stevens, back at the comedy store. Saturday night, back at the comedy store. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm going to hang out in Arizona. Maybe I'll pop up on a show. I'm going to show my face around the Cubs, check out Arizona State. I just want to at least show my face before the playoffs begin. I don't know. Cubs won tonight. Hannes! Okay. What Now, what are you talking? Now, you said music. What do you have? Do you have your iPod? I got my laptop. I mean, do you have some rock and roll songs? Uh, yeah, I got. What do you want? Uh, I'm a, I mean, I'm a country. You want some Seeger? Yeah, I mean, I'll do Seeger. I'll do. Bring I don't know. The the thing is, if I bring, if I get on stage alone, I gotta sort of disappear from the audience, searching for a song. Well, why don't you do it when I'm like it towards the end of my set, in the middle of my set? We'll play around. Towards the middle of your set, I'll walk in and I'll find. We'll play something. around. All right, he's got a few more minutes. Okay. I got gas. I've gas tonight. I gotta eat more roughage. Smells like vomit here. So I don't know what I'm working on. I'm just gonna do my set. So I'll be October 2nd. I'll be in. This is what I want to do. I want to do my set, and then I want to go for a walk. I need to go for a nighttime walk. I'm gonna go home. I just want to go for a walk. I've not been on Bob or Tom. I dyed my beard tonight. Does it look that way? I'm injured. I can't do kettlebell. My side feels a little bit better today, but I've, I've, I'm uh, bloated. I have gas. Diet, just being honest. It's my sister's birthday. I sent her flowers. I'm cool on, par I'm, I'm cool on Twitter. I'm not causing problems. This room, there's probably only like 20 people in there. It's going to be mellow. I mean, it'll be it'll be a few people, but it's not packed. Don't get your hopes up. Um, I don't really have anything to say other than I just want to do my comedy, drum, eat, get rest. I am a little... It's hard getting things done, but I'll tell you what. Today, I spent today booking flights. Today, I booked flights. I checked out my bank account. I had to delete some emails, get unsubscribed on lists. So I have more things to do. But right now, I want to go in there because the pressure's on. I'm on Periscope. The pressure is on. I am on Periscope, so I have to do well. I have to do well. Real. So we went to go wait, walk to another place. I'm a little mellow tonight. Tomorrow night comedy store. The end of September in deep Denver with David Spade. Denver with David Spade at Comedy Works. Wow. 
Minage. Road. You got it. About to be marginally funny to very funny. We don't know. Excited. Mar marginally. We don't know. I'm saying I don't want to get them excited. It could be anywhere. You don't know. Minor passive judgment. Scared. <laughs> you look good. Hi. You look good. Josh Hannes. Enjoy it. Are you sure? One day when you do our show, I still have my Pro Day Enjoy It t shirt. Yeah. I want to wear it and then, like, reveal it. Of course you still have it. Would you basically. Do most people get rid of them? No. But I just haven't worn it when you pick them for me. So that uh, that hurricane's coming. That you've heard about the hurricane. Just shaved a little. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Keels uh, mental lipus aftershave lotion. You have really good skin tonight. I do. Now, that hur that hurricane is hitting Jacksonville, North Carolina. Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. We went there. Remember? We I think we got a, I think we had an argument in Jacksonville, North Carolina. <laughs> Over what? I don't know. Just being politics quarters. Not politics. I'll wait for him to get upstairs. Sorry. There's about 20 people in there. This is a wing. This is a wing in its set. It's not like a. This is different. I've never been this scared. Oh, I heard the end. I just heard the end word. Beards died. My nose is. I got a big nose. It's not small. I don't have fears, but it was when you turn on the periscope, things change. What's the new special you have coming in? Live, live from the main room. Brody Stevens, live from the main room. Amazon, iTunes. So scary. Viner, just get up. You better be texting to the Lord Crusader Jesus Christ how awesome the show is. <laughs> All right. As long as your cell phone is sent to it's okay. <laughs> Did you find your friends? Yeah, you did, because you're sitting right next to them. Who's got a face? You got a face. All right. Talk to people like tough pets and tough pets and tough people. All right, our final guest coming of the night is a wonderful man. He's my old friend from New York. He's one of the faves of the Josh and Josh show. You know him from his... Uh, is special on Amazon and iTunes called Live at the Store. Please welcome back BernieStevens.com. Stephen Bernie Stevens, Stephen Bernie Stevens, Bernie Stevens. Keep it going for Josh Hannes and welcome to West Hollywood. 
I want. I need to put this somewhere. You guys, great that we filled in the. Who's the front row left for? Is this in memory of somebody? <laughs> Let me borrow a, a, I'm gonna put my phone up so I can like look at myself. Glass, is that glass used? Go ahead. Thank you. I'm gonna lean it up on there. You're the girl with the accent. Yeah. You, you're you're star of the show. People are talking about you, you have good energy. It's not the wrong way, it's not the wrong way. Just, they have a facing. <laughs> what is this, a show for the Apple Geek Squad? You guys know every little thing about the phones? <laughs> Welcome to the Josh and Josh American Psycho uh, Sandwich Show. <laughs> See, this is reserved. This should be right here. <laughs> right there. I have a tweet to bleep. <laughs> um, thank you and welcome to the show. My name is Stephen Brody Stevens, and today you are the first human beings that I've spoken to. <laughs> thank you. Other, I did order a latte at Coffee Bean, and they want me to donate a dollar for local charities, but for some reason they sometimes charge me tax. When I drink my coffee there, and sometimes they don't. Get your tax situation under control. Because that means some of the baristas are cool to me, and then some aren't. This guy gave me a deal. Why don't you give me a deal? Okay? <laughs> what I'm getting at is, every time I go to Coffee Bean, I got to worry about donating. They're really on you at that store. I don't like it. <laughs> You know, I left Starbucks, I got, I had a run-in. What are you looking at? My shadow? Uh, no, I actually looking at your phone. My phone? Yeah, like, just Oh, look at you, you're very inquisitive. Yeah, just making sure that you're in there, you know? I like your, I like your accent, I like your energy. Thank Guys, you. give me a call for Sofia Vigera. <laughs> yes, you got it. I was on Last Comic Standing, season four. I signed a television development deal with the Al Jazeera Network. Uh, we're doing their first English-speaking sitcom on Telemundo. So I know what sells in this town. I was born in Panorama City. What do they have on phones? Panoramic mode. It's named after where I was born. Some people are a little slow. Oh, you're a time-lapse guy. Oh, you're hands-free. Okay, there's a bit there, and that's what this room's for. <laughs> By the way, October 2nd, I will be in Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> Somebody can pick me up from the airport. I would appreciate that. Uh, I only take Super Shuttle. I'm a believer in Super Shuttle. <laughs> Take me to Burbank Airport and then to the moon. <laughs> Hi, I'm in. Welcome to Super Shuttle. Would you like the Sonic Boom discount? Because when the Super Shuttle of America would land at Edwards Air Force Base, there would be two Sonic Booms. I'm doing a Super Shuttle theme <laughs> bit, but apparently <laughs> you want me to go back into the Panorama City. <laughs> I am bloated. I had a loofah sponge for lunch. Um, I hear there's a rumor that somebody here from Byron's Allen's Funny You Should Ask is scouting the comedians tonight. Anybody here from Funny You Should Ask? I want to get that meeting with, with Byron Allen on, on a soundstage in Culver City in between Sherry Shepard and Bill Bellamy. They're having a good time. You guys aren't. See, they're having too good of a time. I might have to have you, this table, bring it down a little bit. They're having too good of a time. I'm going over here. I'm going to have to ask you not to laugh. This is one of the rare occurrences where a performer will say, I'm going to have to ask you not to laugh. Arms crossed negative. Guys, give me over. Look at these. Very good. There you go. 
Have a seat. Have a seat. This guy's cool. Did you just get here? Yes, sir. All right. Just in time. Who are you? What is this, the 26th stage of the Tour de France? This guy's cool. What is this, uh, the, the, the adult youth hostel? Table? We've been having a good time. This guy's cool. So what hair salon do you guys work at? <laughs> He's got a good attitude. Everybody settle down. I had El Pollo Loco for dinner, please. It's like, it's like a prison yard in there. All right, going over here. Please stop laughing. Where, where? Let me angle this here. Can you, guys? I've waited. Go ahead, hug it out. Change emails. Listen, we don't, we don't do those kind of customs here. We're not at the Earth Cafe. This is Bar Lucas. There's illegal dice games going on downstairs. I know the history of this place. My mother went to high school right down the street. She lives in a duplex around the corner. This is my town. It's like the, the Bowery. I'll, I'll cut somebody. I'll stab somebody with a Slurpee straw. I collect Slurpee straws. Somebody here's a school teacher. Are you? Where are you visiting from? Thank you. All right. He's quiet. I was being too hard on They know me. That's why they're laughing. Don't feel like you're not included. Are you a school teacher? Where'd you go to high school? Riverside, that's off the 91 freeway. There's a Carl's Jr. there. I went to Arizona State University. I played baseball for Arizona State University. The first game I ever played Division I varsity was in Riverside, California. I pitched for Arizona State. We were playing in a spring tournament. And the first I got into the game, we were blowing the team out like 18 to nothing. And that team was Harvard University. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> the first game. I went to Arizona State, 2.52 GPA. It was very smart. Why is everyone all serious now? Why is everybody serious? Are you missing your, your binge watching? <laughs> you know, binge watching. You know, Netflix. They don't, they don't, they don't want you to watch commercials. But you watch commercials, they're the worst. They're trying to brainwash me. And then you go on Netflix, there's no commercials. You can't have it both ways in all your tricks. I went to Reseda. <laughs> this guy's cool. Where are you busy? From Colorado? Uh, he's he lives in New York. He used to live here. You don't see that. <laughs> That's a rarity. This guy is, is going against the grain. Shaving against the grain. He, I have very sensitive skin. I, I am the Grand Marshal of the Rosacea Parade. <laughs> Thank you for not responding. Uh, I'm a good guy. I watch YouTube ads. Uh, I am parched. Does anybody here have any freshly squeezed Sunny Delight? You got it. I hang out at, I hang out at Air One. <laughs> ear one. I got my ears candled at ear one. Oh. <laughs> Where'd you guys make? <laughs> mistake? That's a mistake? Okay. My, my parents got divorced on eHarmony. I understand what they're doing. <laughs> By the way, it's my sister's birthday today. Woo! My sister's birthday is on September 13th, but we celebrate on the 11th. And, uh, <laughs> I 
I'm doing well. By the way, I just want to give somebody a heads up. I, I found a bird scooter outside. <laughs> How did your bird scooter get in my nest cam? You left your bird scooter on my nest. I saw your bird scooter. I saw your bird in my nest. There's a bit there. I believe in it. You know why? Because I went to Los Angeles Public Schools. <laughs> I'm multicultural. Uh, I speak Armenian and English. Oh! I try something different and you shut me down. What do you want me to do? Give you scripted comedy? I don't do that. Oh, you don't like the fake anger. All right. All right. Um, PTSD, post-traumatic San Diego. Uh, I was upset that Chris Hardwood wasn't there this year. Uh, I'm in a very, very vicious, very dangerous Latino sex gang. You may have heard of it, MS-69. They gang me in Palmdale. Um, I saw a black guy on a skateboard uh, at the Malcolm X Games. And, oh, give me a break. It was, it was Byron. He's my friend. Oh, now you're racist. Trapped you. Byron's watching on my periscope right now. I've been down on my... Honestly, next, oh, I get it. Actually, tomorrow I have an audition uh, for the uh, SpongeBob show. I'm playing Squidward. And, um, see, that gets a laugh somehow. But I don't know. A couple more, I'll wrap it up. No, it's all right. Burning Man? That's wrong. Should be called Burning People. That's racist. I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to protest Burning Man. You don't think I'll do it? I've got two debit cards. I have, I, actually, I have, not only do I have two debit cards, times are tough. I have two other jobs. I work at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> I do have stomach. <laughs> You're a good. Are you an actor? No. Very aggressive. <laughs> Where'd you go to high school? Ohio. Ohio. He said he was from here. Caught him in a lie. Now he's in Ohio. He's in Ohio. I was in the Hangover. How many people recognize me from? Three people. I was in The Hangover, I was in a sequel, I was in the movie, I was in the movie Due Date, I was in another movie called Road to Park City. Um, I don't get recognized for being in those films, you know why? I'll tell you why. Because I'm a good actor. That's right. Thank you. I just got a call back, thank you, to be an extra uh, on a podcast. I've got new headshots, 11 by 17, laminated. Laughter is contagious, and this crowd has the sniffles. <laughs> is it strange that I watch porn on PlayStation 2? <laughs> I, I recently was on a, an airplane. We went to Las Vegas, and it was full of... Uh, I guess there's like a senior citizen convention up there, and there were a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, senior citizen ladies on the flight, and I guess on Southwest, I guess bags really do fly free. Uh, back off, I'm sorry, kayak sent me there. I tried to do hot wire. <laughs> Look at that, I'm doing well. <laughs> Thank
masturbating. True story. He fell out of the bunk bed directly into my arm. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Extra on the podcast. Like, pretty much. Everybody stay. I'm having. I'm having. Josh. Yeah. You know, it's is this anniversary week? Ten year anniversary month. Ten year anniversary month. <laughs> It's the 10-year anniversary month of the show. I've known Josh. Josh and I went on the road all over America, mostly like Eastern Seaboard. And I remember we got into a big argument one time at a fast food establishment. And, and guess where? Jacksonville, North Carolina. You can't even... The eye has broken up. The eye has broken up. It's not the superstorm. There's bands of rain. By the way, what is on the greeting point of that 
hurricane in North Carolina, outside of Jacksonville, North Carolina, home of Camp Lejeune Marine Military Base. See, everyone talks about Camp Pendleton, which is great. You're going to San Diego? That's Camp Pendleton. Jacksonville, <laughs> not Florida, <laughs> where they had the shooting of the John Madden Super Bowl football thing. Jacksonville. That's a fact. I was there too because I did audience warm up for Best Damn Sports Show. They had the Super Bowl in Jacksonville. I have a lot of connections. I saw Bad Company in Jacksonville in 1994. <laughs> Civic Center. So everyone got weird. <laughs> Everybody got weird because we were having a good time. <laughs> Played a little music. I pulled in some spirits. Yeah. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, it worked. I liked it. <laughs> Hi. 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 In summation. <laughs> How did this get all weird? I busted my ass for, for, for the first... 95% of this thing, and then the wheels come off. I'm on freaking live streaming, and I just embarrass myself. That's not cool. This is when I need you the most. If you're going to laugh at me then, I need you to laugh at me now. But you didn't do it. Well, you didn't on? do the 1996 Toyota joke. I drive a 1996 Toyota. <laughs> Leather exterior. That's a good one. Everything else you did. Yeah, but I have the. Did you do the stub hub one? Yeah, you just did it. Oh, she's over there. Okay, all right. Yeah, I went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Nickelback has a tour jacket there. Um, it's in the Lost and Found. Uh, so you have to act like you're lost. See, they want jokes. They want jokes. I know you want jokes. You know, my mother's 87. She's an Uber driver. Uh, we just got her on Star GPS. We had the, the chip implanted in her neck. Again, what did I do wrong? They turned the heat, they, they got the freaking air off. I interacted with Josh. You got sensitive. This is my hometown. Did your mother go to Fairfax? Mine did. Did you go to Reseda? I did. Did your father go to North Carolina? What high school? North Hollywood? I was raised in the TMZ Triangle. Back off. TMZ Triangle. I like that. Sorry. Well, you know what? Things are going well. I'm not upset, but uh, it's a joke, man. You think comedy's easy? You know, I'm a good guy. Chew your food. Give your stomach a break. I chew my food. I can blow a bubble with a pork chop. All right, I just embarrassed myself. You think comedy's easy? See what I'm feeling right now? I'm going to tell you something. You'll probably see a lot of comedians, the next 20 comedians. They're not, they're, the 20 comedians you saw prior and the 20 comedians you'll see in the future won't feel what I'm feeling right now. And it feels bad. <laughs> it does not feel good right now. But I'm going to soak this in. Because when I'm having dinner with David Spade at an Outback Steakhouse, it makes it all worth it. When I'm flying from Denver to Detroit at 6 a.m. on October 2nd to do my show in Detroit, Give it up for Josh Hannes, everybody. Ten year anniversary. Good stuff. What's going on after this show? The DJ Pauly D dance party? There's a DJ dance party fuck fest happening back here. They'll probably make you clear out, clear the table so we can get our dance party on. Did right, you periscope right. this whole evening? Yeah, I did. I probably lost fans. Hey, folks, round of applause for Brody Stevens. What? Happen. That's the Josh and Josh show. That, that it should not have happened. It was wonderful. That's our 10-year anniversary show, week number two, week number three, and four of the upcoming weeks. We've got James and Bill in next week, as well as many other fantastic people. Thank you to Brody. Thank you to all the other comics. I'm not leaving. Clear out, but they're going to have a DJ dance clear party out. soon. I, I have eczema. I don't music. clear out. F yeah, let's do it.
Wow. My parents can pick you up. <laughs> where, wow. where, are you, where are you performing that night? Elf Club. What city is it? In, In Detroit. Detroit. Oh, okay. The I'm Elf going, Club. Oh, I'm going to Troy. My dad's birthday is the next day. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. I'll Good see you on the. I'll see you on Southwest. I'll You're be on there. Southwest. All right. Arlene, I unraveled at the end. I was on the periscope. I was on the periscope. Oh, we're still. You can't. You totally. You can't. You have to do it that way. You don't do it. I can do both okay. on the periscope. Oh, I see. We can do it both ways, but there's a what's that? What you got? Oh, the front. Oh, the reason is that the, another comedian asked them like a long thing about how they met. Oh and they yeah. Answer. He's like not. I unraveled at the end. What happened? I'm so. It's so nice to see how much you've met though. <laughs> well, I didn't hear. I didn't hear that. Because it's so nice to see how much she's mellow. Yeah, I'm mellow. I'm really good at the. Better at the drumming. My drumming's getting better. Oh yeah, right. right. Good. Good. I don't know if they were laughing. I couldn't tell. Well, you have to read now. I'm gonna close this out in a second. But you're still on there. Jesus. Brody gets chicks. Hello. <laughs> Oh, Can we take a picture? Yeah, let's do a selfie or you want to do it? Yeah. Arlene, you want to take a photo? How was it? Check it out. Check it out. That was good, right? Yeah, it's a good one. Is that like a... Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'll be right back. Here I am. Cool. Alright, I'm going to wrap it up. I got to go talk. Thank you. Let me ask you, I feel good or bad? I have no idea.